Uh, give me just a sec. Uh, um... Your objective is to identify other players, acquire them as targets, and kill them before they detect right. and kill you. Alright, stop doing that. You're, you're moving it. You're, don't move it. Get back. Thanks. Alright. Yeah, because I had like some of my cousins touching the laptop here and sometimes... Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. sometimes they, they mess up my recordings. So... Like, yeah. they disconnect the, the, the recording device and I, I will kill them! If they do that. <laughs> okay. Uh... Alright. So welcome to our training session number two. <laughs> and, all, right. all right, and like yeah, but before we continue with the abilities and stuff, let's oh. learn learn some. <laughs> yeah, you know how to taunt, but yeah. le let's learn some of the basic stuff in order to make your victories as stylish as possible. All right. You already know how to humble wall, and let's learn how to dino walk, and this is what you're gonna do. You see me? Yeah. You know how to do that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. But. Well, I'll tell you how. What you do is that you hold the high high profile button button, and you kind of tap the the left stick. You tap it like repeatedly. You you don't release the high profile button. But you know you you have to kind of tap it for a small time. And then you tap it again. La, 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 la. I love dino walking. Dino walking is the <laughs> is the main way to show your your <laughs> superiority of over the the, the opponents. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going on a good run there. I think I had like a couple. Of oh. oh yeah, you're, you're kind of doing it. <laughs> so this is us just having fun. Because training is not all about rough stuff. It's, a, it's also about having fun. Okay. So yeah, there you go. You will have to practice that in order to, in order to be a true assassin. <laughs> okay. Dino. Yeah, dino walking. Walking like a dinosaur. <laughs> all right. So let's let's get on let's get on with the abilities thing. All right. Okay. So. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if you know this, uh, you can switch, Maybe, yeah, I think you saw it, you probably saw it in one of my previous videos, but you can switch your ability set at any time by holding the back button and the A button on your Xbox controller. Do you know that? What? <laughs> you, <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness! It, it was that was like my first tip of the day. I think it was episode 48. I I don't remember. I'm not completely sure. Or it was either 48 or 49. I know that the, the name of the episode is AC3 Impressions and Other Stuff. That's the name. Uh, of you know what? That's exactly what I was watching until you messaged me on Skype. It was AC3 First Impression. I'm I'm not even kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so. Oh God. Yeah, so like, but um, I, I just started it, so I guess I couldn't watch the intro to it. But yeah, that's like, awesome. yeah, the the opening tip of the day was was that was this, you know, it, it was like really awesome when I first discovered this. I was like, oh my god, how did how did I do this? What the fuck yeah. is this? <laughs> but it cost that green. It says it costs ten abstergo points, though, right? Oh yeah, it does. It, it not 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 ten. Yeah. It, it costs well eighty. It costs eighty. It also depends on the oh. mode, like. Depending on the mode, it costs a different amount, and it also depends like how many times you have done it on that specific match. Because every time you do it, it gets more expensive. And also, oh, okay. like due to a recent patch, uh, Ubisoft increased the or, or, or more like um, Abstergo. <laughs> Abstergo increased the price uh, on on changing the sets. So it was yeah. it was like 60 before I think, but now it's like 80 is the lowest. But and that's that's the general idea. So you know you, you don't want to overdo it, but it can really come in handy sometimes. And yeah, also it... sometimes you're playing against people that you just want to win. <laughs> so if you, if you have to switch the sets at some point just to win, 
believe me, you will do it. <laughs> you don't care. You, you don't care about a hundred uh, Abstergo points. Uh, uh, Abstergo credits. You have no idea how many times I've chosen the wrong ability set in Manhunt. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it happens to me too. Like in Wanted. And sometimes I switch modes, I go like to deathmatch or something like that. And I want to use a different set, but accidentally I choose the same set. So yeah, oh yeah thanks to that, that's not a problem anymore. Alright. Just cost. Oh wow, that's oh. awesome. Alright, so... After knowing that, we want to learn something. Do you have a, a set with disguise? Yeah, I have disguise right now. Okay, so, like, one of the first abilities you want to learn to use because is this guys. And the reason you want to learn to use it is because using this guys, uh, it increases your stealth skills. So if you want to be a, if you want to be a deathmatch player, a deathmatch player, you really want to learn how to use this guys. And the, the benefit of it is that you will or not only learn to use this guys. But you will also learn how to mimic NPC behavior. Because the key to using this guys it is not only disguising, it's being as NPC like as possible, you know? Yeah, no no no, I follow. That's yeah. very true. Yeah, so like if I were to make a guide in abilities, the first ability I would recommend everyone to practice is disguise. Because after you learn to use that, you can learn all the other abilities and you retain the, the benefits of these guys which is that you learn how to mimic NPC behavior properly and even even if you don't have these guys you become a better player just just because you learn to use it exactly so it makes you just a better stealth player exactly okay so let's start with the key points of these guys these guys has an activation time so you don't want to be seen <laughs> you don't want to be seen when you activate it, right? Yeah. And when you do activate it, you want to make sh you want to make sure that you're in the right position so that you take full advantage of the disguise, all right? So, like uh if you're going to use it offensively, you want to make sure that you're close enough that you will have enough time to reach your target before they your your disguise wears off. Because if it wears off when you're just like close to them, they're gonna see you. <laughs> you're gonna be you're gonna become like completely evident. Like, hey, yeah. I'm your pursuer. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be the, the equivalent of of not even using these guys at all. So if you, if you're gonna do that, you may as well not even use these guys. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much like a waste. Yeah. yeah. So previously, I would use uh, cooldown on these guys because I wanted to use as many disguises as possible. Uh, per match, but and, and and especially for deathmatch, this is true, because this guy has a problem, and is that as soon as you kill or stun a pursuer, your disguise wears off, which yeah, is yeah, I know, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. I honestly don't know why oh. Abstergo, <laughs> <laughs> in other words, Ubisoft, uh, decided to make it that way because yeah, like this guy is the only ability that promotes stealth and. It, it doesn't get a hidden bonus because in ACB it, it has it, it had a glitch <laughs> you will say a glitch or a buff depending how you see it but it, it had a buff that when you use this guys your kill if, if you were not in high profile uh, you will get a hidden kill and also if you were in the middle of a chase and you use this guys but and you were out of your line of sight or, or, or out of the line of sight or your pursuer you will get a uh, you will hide you know you will escape in using a hidden scape but that doesn't happen anymore so yeah like technically using these guys before it was the same as going into a blend group but now it is not like that so yeah they removed that benefit that these guys had in acb and also it, it still has the disadvantage that if you kill or stun it wears off but the question is why why does it work well we're not gonna ask ubisoft questions here because the game is already there and it works like it works. So let's just yeah. be happy. Let's just be happy with that, right? Yeah, let's just be happy we can disguise. Yeah, and hopefully maybe if they see this video in the future, you you never know. Maybe they'll change it. Who knows? Yeah, right? Then we'll have to remake this commentary. Yeah.
and we'll have to apologize for our insults which we didn't say <laughs> which we didn't say in the video but like after the video ended we just cursed everything <laughs> yeah all right so well you this game is over first. we'll just uh continue on the next game all right